Hi guys, welcome back. This is Joy Ani and Scrapping in My Own Private Idaho. And we are continuing to do 30, 31 days of treats. And I'm going to look on my chain for that I've forgotten to take off. So we have already done the, yesterday we did the candy box. And I showed you several examples of that. And today we are going to do um, the candy box, and today we're going to do the little um, cauldron boxes. So, those of you that have a, a um, those of you who have the box, this is what you have in your box. You have two cauldrons. One is, well, uh, um, it, it, it's blank because you can't, um, so you have the cauldron and front and back and then you have the little box and you have um, this bubbling um, you could also I did not include it but you could include this there's a stamp on here where you can have the bubble let me show you what I made this from so this is the potions and spells it is a photopolymer stamp set I got the bundle and it also included these fun die cuts and the die cut is what I'm using today and we're going to do lots of different shapes and I will show you which die cuts I used for each one I um, this came as a preview and to be quite honest I did not get it when it came as a preview because um, it had just a cauldron and I'm not really into witches and all that kind of things but then I started seeing online all the different things people were using and you will see this cauldron again in March when I do my little St. Patrick's Day things. So let's go ahead and I will show you what the box people have. So the box people have this little cauldron and I'm going to show you um, how we make that. So the most important thing that you do is you're going to cut a 4x4 four four square. And the 4x4 four four square then you are going to score it. You're scoring it at um, one and a half and two and a half and then you so you go um, let's let's show you and, and, and I'm going to score one with you so um, then I'm going to take this box um, some people do this fancy thing and they cut things away I'm not that kind of girl I just kind of throw it together so then I'm going to put a glue dot here and this is the secret of um, making 3D, bo 3D boxes. So I am not much of a card maker. I make cards occasionally, but not very often. See, I'm putting that one there. Then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to put a glue dot here. So you will need, for this project, you will need glue dots. Um, liquid glue is sometimes helpful. Whatever your favorite adhesive is. And this forms our little box. And this is for all of our projects are done exactly the same way. So you're making the box of it. My challenge to you is go into your stamp sets or your die cuts and look and see, can I make this 3D? So like I was saying, I'm, I don't do a lot of cards because I always forget to give them out. But if I have candy in my room, I like to give it out. So, um, I like 3D boxes that are candy holders. Um, so, that's going to go there. Um, who can resist candy? And there's, um, I don't eat, I'm, I'm, I don't eat a lot of sugar. So, um, there are lots of sugar-free candy options. Um, I'll show you, uh, one of these days I'll share with you my favorite pack as a person who's not supposed to drink sugar. So, on this one, I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. That's the bu bubbling glue that's that's going over. And I'm going to try to use liquid glue. I've got three different types of glue. So my fingers are gluey and kind of inky today, which means I've had a fantastic day. So I'm going to go ahead and set this right here. Liquid glue works really well on these 3D things, except for, ooh, look at that mess. It's okay, because it dries, it dries um, clear. And I'm going to put the feet just, I'm putting, see how I put the rounded, because I want it to be even, and I'm putting the rounded things right there. And then I'll put it on the back. And it will hold, this is what I put in mine, it will hold two little um, butterfly finger things. 
And like I previously shared, my favorite place to get candy is from Winco. They have the biggest variety. Um, it's bulk. It's way cheaper. And then if you're trying to get a, an exact color, I'm, I'm off screen again, sorry. I'm going to put this right here. And this is how easy this box goes together. So I hope you will look at your stuff and say, what can I do to make a little box? And you stick it in here. I want to show some other things that I have done. I have made, this was, a, well, this was, um, there is a girl called Chicken and Chicken Scratch. And I got the idea from her. So I will show you the parts that I cut out. So this is, this is this part. So I cut it out of the metallic and put it there. Of course, um, and then his hair is this part right here, that die. And then the mouth is this little tiny part. Because it's small, oops, that one's, um, uh, the mouth is a, I, you know, I think it's in my die cutting machine. So the mouth is, um, it, it, it's shaped like that. When you, if you get the die cuts, you'll know exactly which one I'm talking about. I put little scars on his face, and that was my Frankenstein. You can also do a pumpkin. So I have this on my table because uh, I'm working with lots of fall things. I had that over there, so I thought, oh, it could be a pumpkin. So there's the pumpkin. I drew the face on there. I'm not very artistic, but um, that's an idea that you could do. You could also do a candy apple. How cute is that? And I was thinking if you needed to give a teacher's gift, you could make this, you could just put a similar stem like this on it. Let's pretend. Let's pretend. So if you had a teacher's gift, you could put like that for the apple. And you could put um, a gift card in here. So it could be a teacher gift as well. So when you are looking at this, don't think, oh, I don't want, um, the only thing that it could do would be which is there's a lot of stuff on here. I've also used this cat for a kiss holder and I, I've used the bird for a kiss holder. So um, there's lots of this is extremely versatile a tile set. So I hope um, you will kind of look at what you have. Maybe you don't have this, but you have something similar that's this size. So the size of this is about um, um, two and a quarter inches. So if you have a large stamp, you could make a 3D um, a 3D object and make a, a candy holder out of it. Well, I hope you will like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you'll come back tomorrow. I am using a um, treat holder that I got on clearance that is still available and I'll show you what I what I did with that. So when I when I purchase stuff, I try to look at it and think if it's only going to be used for one project, I won't buy it. But this is a very versatile um, one and I hope you will like and subscribe and if you're thinking, oh, it's too late for Halloween, um, this can be used for other things and you will see it reappear in March when we're doing St. Patrick's Day gift bags. So, I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.